Hey guys, uh, Nate here. I have a tutorial on lighting and basically lighting in Photoshop when you're doing your effects like fire or whatever. Any attack that involves energy or plasma usually has light. So lightning would have emit light, fire would emit light, and obviously a light bulb would, like right here would emit light. So this is something that many beginners don't use and they don't realize, but it's pretty essential because this light bulb is on. So basically, you you what you want to do is in order to get light, you want to select this. So let's just say this the color the light bulb is emitting is yellow. So we can go with that, or you can go with white or whatever. And this is just basic explanation of it. And then you know you can have just this you want to get your opacity all the way down almost i i just go 11 or whatever uh but yeah so uh, you also want to have your your brush on hardness zero or you can just get this brush and you, you just want to basically brush it here and there's light emitting right but you know you, you just get the point and stuff but you know if you're oh wait so if you also know like here you got this like light and you know higher areas are concentrated depending on it and then if you make a mistake or whatever don't worry you can just go back and erase it, it and make it lighter like this and it'll just look perfect right there. And there's another thing called shadows in light where this will also have black because you know not everything is emitting so naturally if you're in a cave or something there's not natural light if there's only like one source of light then this is entirely gonna be shadows so you know this is gonna be darker but you know in, in this case in this case let's just say there's ambient light so you just want to make some parts darker so if there's like a fire effect which I'm gonna get to over here is Sabo our old chum Sa Sabo right here it, it, that, yeah, and then you just got light and stuff. It, it, it looks more natural. So basically, if you if you want it like farther away or something, let's just say that's my render so farther away. You would do the same thing, but you know, you do the same thing right here, and then you would just light. You would just make light. But guess what? Guess what? Since you're farther away, this is gonna be less concentrated with a lot more shadows. Basically, you get light physics, all that, and then you can just, same thing, you can add shadows. And yeah. Oof. I think I need a bit less, you know. It's just a bit less light. I'm just rushing this for the sake of you guys, but you know, you guys play around and stuff so let's just get rid of all this into the fire demo over here we have Sabo fire he, he you, you got him he's fire fist he's going like yeah so on here I have already prepared a bunch of stuff like there's light gonna be emitting off him so it will the light will be orange right so cuz you have that and also on fire there's also red so you want uh, you, uh, orange and red emitting on Sabo right here. So you just want to select him. Oh right, I forgot to mention control uh, Control click on the thumbnail and you can select it easy if you don't know that already um, So basically you can just go over here And then you just brush it over and there's a bit of glow already you can see it and then on here you can just see like there's these tips over here, you can just make it stronger and then you can go back and erase it to make it lighter if it's like a bit too bright and you have this rim a bit glowing more and it looks more natural and basically you can just make really cool lighting effects right and yeah it's 0, 0.5 I made mean, opacity 5% you can just change it all over through. Light does not emit everywhere, so you just gotta remember that. Uh, let me let me make a quick drawing, 100%. And let me just make the hardness here. Let me just make a quick drawing here. So, uh, visualization would be that the light is hitting here, 
light is hitting down here, light is also hitting in this general area, it's going up here, it's going on his face as well. But, you know, light can't emit over here, and that's not how light works. So, now that he has a little light here, you, you, you just want to make it the, like, the more concentrated areas in red. So, naturally, oof. And you know, so I'm just gonna lower it a bit to 0.4% and just do that. You you really want to put like the two different lights on two different layers, so that's what I do with mine. But yeah, you can you can just have this and then this. The reason why you want to do different layers is so you can adjust it. And adjustability is very important in graphics. So now there's a bit of red light and you can see the comparison. Right, and you can also, with a new layer, you can adjust its overall opacity, meaning that you can uh, go back and adjust it anytime, and you can keep the evenness of your light. So there we go, next is shadows. So finally, we're gonna do the shadows, which is go all black here, and then we're just gonna go back to 11. And the parts that don't hit, the light don't hit, you can just add a slight shadow to it. It doesn't have to be too dark like I did earlier. It just has to be dark enough so that there's, you know, light. So it, it just looks like that. It, it looks all the much better because it, it looks more realistic. And you're aiming for realistic, but, you know, don't mind this fire. It was pretty much found on the internet. And in the same way, I prepared a floor and a layer called Drop Shadow because you need, you need something you know, shadows and light also cast on the floor. So I made, I just found floor and I just made the floor, you know. And um, what you want to do is you control click on Savo, a same, and uh, you just want to click Shift F5. You just want to fill it with black, and you just want to click the sort, and you just want to drag it over here. And this will basically change the perspective of where your light is, like well, where it looks like. And so what you want to do is since the light source is coming through here, you want to cast a shadow back here. And depending on how how bright it is, you can just like, you know, make it bigger here and stuff. So since it's not that really bright, this here, we'll just do this. I think that's good enough, I, I guess. But the, the reason why it, you don't have to do it so much in detail is because what you're going to do after is you're going to click filter, come into blur, and then you're going to click Gaussian blur. And basically this, will, you want to blur it until it's just about like that, or you can blur it even more if you wanted that, like that type of shadow. But you can just do it just about there, and you can lower the opacity of it. And then you can also resize it if you wanted to. You can also, you know, just squeeze it right there. It's not realistic because, you know, rushed for the tutorial. <laughs> yeah, so there's your shadow. And there's also light emitting, of course. So you're gonna get an orange. Obviously, I can't get the same color because I, you know, switched out of it. Uh, you can get the orange. And you just basically draw on the ground your light.